Hello, this is Tool is my fave band, or some people call me Steve. Anyway, um, this is a guide on Nazi zombies for PS3. Um, and I, I, it's pretty much probably the same for uh, Xbox or P, uh, uh, PC. But in this video, I'll show you like helpful hints and tips and ways to at least get past the tenth round in Nazi zombies. And, um, I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. Alright, so the, you start out in round one in Nazi Zombies in this weird, creepy cement house. Um, I first start out by shooting the barrels. Because, um, you basically start out with this really crappy gun, basically. And... It's just like, sometimes it takes a whole round or a whole magazine of this gun, or however you would say it, just to kill like one zombie. And it's kind of like, wow, that's really lame. Well, there's my first, those are the first zombies. And, um, yes. Now I see when I, the barrel explodes, it kills them. And also I do get points for it, so that's always good. And, um... Yeah, I'm going to keep on going around doing this. Sorry about the resolution for the camera. For some reason, there's a weird, like, green bar thing that kind of comes across the screen. Sorry about that. But, um, hopefully you can, guys, can not pay attention to that. For, I am deeply sorry for that inconvenience. Anyway, there's, like, some zombies. And I can just stab them, because that's always a fun thing to do. Now, as we're passing the first round, you probably have at least, like, 800 to 1,000 points. So you go over to this wall right here next to these boxes, and there's an M1A1 carbine right there. And this is a semi-automatic rifle. It um, has a fast reload time. It, um, it's accurate. It's uh, relatively powerful. And it's definitely better than this gun on this wall right here called the K Car 98K. It's just one of the most terrible guns in the history of mankind. Almost as terrible as the Colts. But, um, like the pistol you start out with. Sorry, but I didn't really say that at the beginning. Um, you kind of go around just shooting the zombies like a person with common sense would. Ah, that was a giant mess of them there. And I've, like, been trying to make this video, and I keep on dying. It's hard to, like, have kind of, like, a conversation while playing Nazi Zombies, because you're constantly, like, have to be alert, and you're, like, distracted by stuff. And, yes, yeah, stuff is an official term. Now, I'm passing the second round. You probably have, like, a thousand points, because you spent it all on your M1A1 carbine. I don't go up to these little like staircases like you must ascend from darkness it's kinda like yeah but as I ascend from darkness there's gonna be a lot heck of a more zombies just waiting for me waiting to eat my brains so I would stay away from there because it just creates more zombies and it's harder to get through like a lot of levels now I'm gonna keep on playing until I get like a thousand nine hundred fifty points because I go over here and open up the help room, or I, it looks like hell, because there's no P. It doesn't go across and make a P, so. I mean, seriously, if someone just wrote help on that door, like, who's going to see? Like, oh, some helicopter over the sky is going to be in, like, that area right there. And, like, see that help sign, go save him, because, like, it's all the way over there. It's kind of stupid. Oh, then you guess that. This little golden skull thing right there, it is inst it's like gives you an instant kill. So every time you like shoot a guy, like just one time, they die. They like have their heads blown off. Even if you shoot at their legs. Ha. Huh. Shot him in the groin. Hurts more because their head get ex gets exploded in the process. Anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what it is. Now I'm passing the, um,. Third round, I was lucky enough to get the instant kill, like, little skull thing. 
and I have like 2,900 points, which is pretty good. So I go over to the help room or whatever. I go down to this mystery box, which is right here around the corner. And, um, oh, yes, yes, yes. This is an MG40, uh, yeah, MG42. It is super powerful. It's a giant machine gun. And, yeah, that's an MP40. Those are okay. But, of course, MG42s. They're like the god of all machine guns. First, I'm going to shoot the barrels over here. Because you, you just got to It'd be weird if you didn't. Ah, okay. So the zombies are coming in. There's no barrels over on this um, side. Unless you didn't shoot them before. And, um... Yeah, so I'm going around shooting zombies. Yeah. Also, like, the, the earlier, that little skull that you saw, there's um also others like that, where it's like, um... Not a skull, but like some. If it's a like a golden bomb, when you go over it, it like kills every single zombie and it destroys them all. It's kind of like rhetorical because I just said it. But anyway, um, oh, like right there. There's another example. It's like times two, and uh, when you get this, you can um, it gives you double the points. So, like here, patching up a board give me plus ten. Now it gives me plus 20. If I shoot like a zombie, it gives me like 10 times, like 2 times more. And, um, lastly, the final like little drop that sometimes zombies drop is the, um, it's like a golden cartridge of ammo. It's kind of like, it looks like it's like ammo from machine guns. Oh, like there, right there. Um, it gives you infinite ammo, so I just reload, so you can get like the most benefits from it. And see, my ammo is like 297, but now as I go over it, 500! Yeah. So I'm opening up the mystery box again. Ooh, Molotov cocktail. There's a lot of fun stuff in here. Molotov cocktail is fun. It just takes a while to like um, load up, and it just creates a big ball of fire. I mean, who doesn't like fire? Okay. It's kind of later in the game. These zombies are going to come through this wall, which is kind of stupid. Because, you know, I mean, I think zombies is kind of weak, because since they're kind of dead and all, and kind of rotting, you think that the decaying flesh would, like... Ah, oh, dang. I don't know what that was. Probably a bad gun, though. Um, I'll have to check that out later. But anyway. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, yes. So I'm going around here. I've like I'm I'm getting like some points. It kind of goes on like this for a while. Now a good strategy is um going up to against the wall and just waiting for zombies to come to you. Cause oh yeah, here's the golden bomb I was talking about. Watch this. Whoa! Kills all zombies. Anyway, so it's the end of the fifth round. I'm going back to my lovely mystery box of infinite pure evil. And yeah, sawed-off shotgun. That's pretty good. You see, there's a double barrel shotgun, and there's a sawed-off. Like, the sawed-off double barrel shotgun. It's, um... It's, like, it's not as accurate. It doesn't go as far, but it does a lot more damage. Which is basically what you need for Nazi zombies, because... It's not a lot about, like, far being like, far away. It's more like how much damage you need to do. Because, like, you're not going to be sniping zombies. This is another thing. If you like find like a sniper, like a PTRS in the um, mystery box, don't get it, cause it's just terrible gun for Nazi zombies. You would just got max ammo. I mean, it's just like the worst gun ever for Nazi zombies. It's a like the, actually the most powerful gun in the game. It's just that the scope it's like makes it hard to like pay attention to your surroundings, which is vital in Nazi zombies. In round six, you'll be getting runners, which are like these zombies that run. Yep, there's one right there. These can be like extremely like. This is like, yeah, it's like every Nazi zombie player's person's worst 